How's it going YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mac here, coach of the Sacramento Saints slash playing in week nine of the TGR Restricted League up against Lucian Flash, coach of the Rebellion. You can see our team up above, their team down below. Both teams range in speed order, of course, as well as the six Pokemon that we are bringing and the six Pokemon that I think uh, Lucian is going to bring to our match. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, you look at this team, he's got Regilecki and Tapu Koko, so you know it's coming, you know? Like, and I've, and I, of course, I have Veltals too, so like he's definitely going to bring, um, those electric types. We have Lightning Rod on uh, Marowak and be very important for us this match. Uh, part of the matchup uh, is also gonna be revolve around Trick Room. I think either they're going to try to set it or we're gonna try to set it. It's really gonna be dependent upon which Mons come. He you might notice that he has two restricted Mons. He's got Return Eternatus and he's got Calyrex Ice. If he has Calyrex Ice, I'm assuming that he's gonna try to set Trick Room. And if he has Eternatus, then we're gonna try to set Trick Room uh, because then his team's gonna be super fast. That's going to be part of how we play this game, as I think Trick Room is going to matter either for them or for us. Um, and I think it's the Calyrex Ice that's going to come instead of the Eternatus, because um, we are playing Series 10, so there's only one Restricted allowed, um, even though he drafted two. And uh, so I, I think um, I think they're going to want to set Trick Room, and there might be even be cases where we want to set it, because Marowak is slower than Calyrex. And then I think Priority is going to be impor pretty important here too, um, just because of how fast his team is. So we have Sucker Punch on Veltal, we have... Um, draining Kiss on Comfy, and I believe I have another uh, priority move. I think Hitmontop has one too, so I, I think those moves are going to matter this uh, this matchup. Anyway. anyway, we'll see what Six he decides to bring here in just a moment. Okay, here we are in the match, and oh my gosh, <laughs> he brought Eternatus and he brought Seeking. Okay, that's kind of sweet. Uh, all right, there's no Mandibuzz too, which is kind of nice because that Mon was um, potentially going to be difficult to um, break through. Uh, Seeking is very interesting. I was not expecting that Mon at all. Uh, and no Calyrex Ice, but there is Eternatus. Um, and... okay. So, alright, so I really want Trick Room then. Um... Hmm. It's an interesting situation to be in. Not quite sure how this is gonna look um, for the first match, cause this team is kind of tough, to be honest. Um, let me remind myself of my notes. I think I kind of want Jellicent as the lead, and I almost want Marowak too. Maybe I want Nido King. Maybe Nido King's a better lead. Okay, let's do that, and then let's bring Veltal and let's bring Marowak. Yeah, I don't really need the... I almost don't even need Hitmontop at all, actually. Yeah, let's go with this. Um, I think there's a... Actually, maybe there is a case to be made for bringing Hitmontop. Just so that I have Fake Out Pressure. And, like, that would be kind of the only reason I'd want to bring it, so, uh, necessarily. Yeah. I don't know. This is going to be tough. Seems very scary. Tapu Koko Red Fia Lucky. All right, <laughs> so here we go. Um, I'm gonna protect on Jellicent first turn because I have a feeling that um, the Slow King is around, or not the Slow King, the uh, Galarian Weezing's around, and I kind of just want to hit something with um, Nido King just to know, like, do they have it? You know. Um, and Earth Power actually looks really, really good against their team. Wow, looks really good. Um, let's hit the Regieleki to start with, and let's go from there. Yeah, the Tapu Koko, so, and I feel like it's glaring. Yeah, it's wheezing. Yep, 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 yep. This is going to be um, uh, neutralizing gas. Yep. Because, uh, like, switching in um, Marowak looks so nice against that pairing. So, fully expected. Um, that to happen. Yeah. And let's get rid of this uh, Regulecki. Are you Sash? Cool. Alright, that's beautiful. So taking that out first turn is so nice. So we KO um, Alecki, which is fantastic. And then I'm pretty sure I want to bring in... Ooh, this is kind of tough, actually. Do I live a hit? I don't know. Do I, or do I want to swap? I, 
kind of, you know what, I, I kind of want to get Trick Room up, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to try to get Trick Room up. If I don't, then, like, that's okay. Um, but I'm going to Earth Power again. And I really want to KO this Weezing, actually. Like, that would be so good. Um, so let's do that. And I should be faster than the Weezing. And if it protects, I feel like I can leave one hit. Oh, Nick is not. Okay, that's, that's actually really good. Because it means we probably get Trick Room up. And they're also Life Orb. Life Orb Nathan's Madness is an interesting choice. Yeah, and they're going after Nidoking, because Nidoking is so good against their team. It's kind of crazy how good it is. And we're actually slower than Weezing, which is kind of crazy. But freaking Nidoking. Looking so good. Um, yeah, we KO Weezing also. Uh, and now we'll see what the last one is. It is Eternatus. Okay. I kind of figured it would have to be, right? Okay, and they're pressure. That's fine. Uh, I think at this point, I almost want this one to go down. So I just want to pick up damage on stuff. So I almost want to protect Nido King just to see what they do. Uh, and I almost want to get damage on something. Let's get damage on the Coco. No, damage on the Eternatus. That one's probably the scarier threat uh, to us. So let's just protect Nido King first turn here. Um, I, I just want to see who they protect with, if they protect at all. Because um, I think there's a world in which they protect. They don't. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought for sure they would. Yeah, and this one is super guilty. So, yeah, I figured. Um, actually, there maybe there's a reason that I... Dazzling Okay, that's fine too. Uh, okay, there's a world in which I should probably just let Nido King go down. And then I can get in uh, Marowak. And Mera should absolutely crush. Um, they'll see we're leftovers here, which is fine. Uh, I considered bringing a berry, but um, I really didn't want to. Um, yeah. Oh, and they're Black Sludge. So I just saw the Dynamax Cannon from them. I'm just going to Shadow Ball again. And again, I'm just going to Shadow Ball the Eternatives. Like, that's the mod that's kind of scary here. Um... Yeah, I saw Black Sludge, so I know they're not... Yeah, I kind of just want to Earth Power again. Let's just Earth Power again. If they protect Eternatus, they protect. Okay, that's fine. But, like, I might not go down here from a Dazzling Gleam. Um, and, like, maybe there's a reason for me to, like, split my damage so that I don't have something like this happen specifically. Um, but in the end, it's not too bad. Oh, Discharge. Okay, that's fine. That's really not that big a deal. Yeah, like we take damage, but eh. Like the Coco's getting tripped. Like it's fine. I don't have another way to set Trick Room, so I kind of want to have one of these ones go down. Uh, I think there's two turns of Trick Room left, if I'm correct. Yeah, two turns of Trick Room left. Yeah, so I really actually want to have one of these ones go down right now. So I'm just going to attack turn this again. Um, because it protected last turn, so. Uh, I mean, they could go for the double protect, but not likely. So let's just get damage. But we see Discharge, and we see... Okay, so the Discharge is a way to get around um, the uh, Lightning Rod. But that looks like a KO also. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, that would explain why. I don't know if we pick up that KO if we don't get the crit, so um, it probably matters. But it looks like Jellison go down. That's fine. And then uh, I'll just Earth Power, and it kind of doesn't look like it has Protect. And I'll just go with Marowak. Oh, that's right, I have Parish Song. I completely forgot I brought Parish Song. So getting early... Okay, actually getting early kills is really good. Like, even better than um, I think I realized. But, uh, honestly, I can just fly Blitz. I don't think there's a reason for me to, um, Bone Meringue and, like, chance the miss. Oh, you do have Protect. Okay, that's fine. I don't think he can KO me, so that's fine. Uh, I could have gone for Parish Line there, which would have been pretty funny, but, um, <laughs> there's just no need to. I think I can, uh, save that and re and use it in, like, a later, um, uh, later match. Uh, okay, so I've seen all the moves from the Coco. So it is Nature's Madness, Discharge, and Dazzling Gleam. Okay, that's totally fine. 
can we actually live the hit? Wow, that's nuts. Uh, Earth Power, this will definitely KO. So King picks up all of the KOs. Oh my god. Freaking Nido King is so strong. Okay, so we win the first match uh, 3 0. Um, and honestly, I feel really good about the game plan that we had. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that they might do differently uh, looking at the next game. Uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of the same thing I want to do differently. I think that I could... No? <laughs> no? Maybe I don't do anything differently? I don't know, that looked really good. Um... Gosh. Yeah, that was about as good as I could have hoped for, honestly, so... And I'm trying to think of, like, what they would do differently, but I don't even know. Like, if they have... Okay, if they have, like, Taunt on Lipard, like, that could be something. Because they know that we're, um, leftovers, right? So, um... Yeah, so they know we're leftovers, and we don't, we can't like have uh, mental labor or something like that. But I kind of like what we had, you know. Uh, Comfy's a little scary because of the Eternatus. Um, I am Focus Sash though, which kind of helps, but even still, like the Jellicent takes the hits from Eternatus a lot better. Um, and then Nido King just. Ooh, wow, does it threaten their Pokemon? Whoa! Uh, do I even want Veltal? Actually, I, I really think the um, the Sucker Punch priority is going to be really nice. So I kind of want to have that too. Um, the Wide Guard from Hitmontop would be kind of nice because uh, it looks like all of the Alecky, um, not Alecky, the uh, Coco attacks are um, Wide Guard preventable. Good with Wide Guard? I don't know. Um, also having fake out priority on Hitmontop could be really nice too. Hmm. But Intimidate really does nothing. And like having, ha honestly having Sucker Punch priority is going to be really good. So I think this is what I want to go with. If it doesn't work, then I'll consider Hitmontop in the next game. I think that's something worth considering. Um... But I don't think that it's necessary uh, based on what I've seen so far. Uh, it just honestly, it just looks like Nido King is so strong in their team. Like that's kind of what I got from all that. Was um, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of, it looks really good. Uh, just because like they have double electric types, uh, Eternatus like it, it has a it has an attack that hits and jumping from like Dynamax can is something, but um, yeah. Okay, um, so this is different. This is a different start. Uh, let's go with, I'm going to try for the Trick Room right now. I'm going to try for the Trick Room right now, and then I also kind of want to hit this uh, Eternatus as well. Um, there's nothing that takes Earth Power well. Uh, do I want to go for Lipard? Is the world we're going after Lipard's the right choice? I could also protect my first turn here, which isn't a bad play either. I think Trick Rooms is probably the best option. And then, yeah, let's go Earth Power on the Eternatus. Because that's the mod that I'm most scared of, and I'm pretty sure... What do my notes say about... Oh, that makes sense too, actually. Cosmic Power. Oh, I did not know this move. Mon got that move. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Uh, we do get Trick Room set up, though. I was thinking they would go for a Taunt, to be honest. Uh, yeah, okay, Jellicent actually takes some of these hits really well. Uh, let's just Shadow Ball. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna Shadow Ball the Eternatus, I think. And I kinda wanna Earth Power the Eternatus, too? Is this Life Heart scary? I don't know. I feel like the answer to that's no, but I'm really not sure. I mean, I don't want this thing to just set up cosmic powers after cosmic powers, right? Oh, Encore. Ah, uh, that's how they'll do it. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, oh, wait. That makes it happen first? 
Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that's how that worked. That's crazy. Uh, was that a spell sent? No, new king. Do we take that hit? We do. Okay. Ooh, okay. That was, uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, we do a lot of damage there. Maybe the crit didn't matter last turn, because that's a, that's a plus one. Uh, I mean, I have to trick room again, right? Like, can I shadow ball? Yeah, I can only use trick room. I mean, I'm just gonna trick room again. Uh, and that'll just protect Nido King. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. This seems fine. <laughs> and then, uh, do they taunt this time? I don't know. I mean, they're in Dynamax and the Nido King, right? But, like, foul play? Okay, that's fine too. Because I, I don't like, I'm a special attacker. I don't take that. I take that just fine. And then I get Trick Remake. Okay, so now Jellicent's gonna come out. <laughs> I'm gonna switch out Jellicent. I'm gonna bring in uh, Veltal. So, <laughs> so now we have Trick Room set up, which is what we wanted. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, let's go into Veltal. And then I think I need to just respect um, the possibility uh, of Eternus attacking, and so I want to go after it. I think it protects here. Like, I honestly think it protects here. Um, and I could read into that. But if it attacks... Well, okay, hold up. If it attacks me and I get Nidu King... If Nidu King goes down, then I get in um, Marowak. And actually, picking up KOs is really good. This could be Focus Sash. I do need to think about that. Um, is letting something in for free a bad thing? Not really, right? I'm gonna go for the light part. I don't think it has protect, so I'm just gonna go after it. But yeah, let's swap out Jellicent. We'll get in a uh, Veltal, uh, and we'll get some of that priority going on here. Um, we have Sucker Punch and we have Pop Play. Encore, that's fine. Oh, I protected last turn. Oh, Jesus, okay. Well, that's rough. <laughs> I didn't think they'd Encore that spot. So the Dynamax Cannon is probably going after the Nita Fiend this time. Okay, that Encore is a problem, though. That thing needs to go. So maybe... Okay, well, oh, hold up. This lets me get in uh, Marowak, though, right? And that that seems good for me. So Eternatus... Chaos, okay. Yeah, but that gets, that gets me in Marowak, and that seems really good. Chaos King... Ooh, I don't know. This is this actually is still kind of scary. Um, I'm just gonna foul play. Uh, do I want to foul play the Eternatus? It has a really good attack stat, right? I'm not remembering something that's not correct. Oh, it's actually its attack stat is kind of weak. Um, I mean, I could double up into it. I'm gonna sucker punch it, I think, and then I also want to. Um, I kind of just want to flare blitz the... Now let's Bone Meringue, because I kind of feel like the Lightheart Sash. Yeah, that's fine. I kind of figured that it would, it would protect. Yeah, and that's fine. Uh, but we'll get Charm. Oh. Who was that on? That was on Marowak. Okay. Yeah, this, uh... I'm, I'm, I gotta admit, this Lightheart's a problem. Oh my gosh. What? That did no damage. <laughs> that did no- we all saw that, right? That did zero damage. Alright, I need to prioritize this mod a lot sooner. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna s Ooh, man. This is rough. Um... Okay, I need to taunt this. Uh, and I think I'm gonna swap out into Jellicent. Okay, so I've seen Charm, Encore, Foul Play, and um, Fake Out. Okay, so at least I know all of the life parts move, so I know it doesn't have Protect. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's kind of silly. That mod's gotta go. <laughs> that mod has got to go. And we're gonna Charm this thing, so that we don't have to deal with that anymore, because uh, that is not okay. And then Cosmic Cars again. That's, that's fine. Kind of. Kind of fine. It's really not fine. Actually, I'm not a hard time taking this uh, Eternatus down. How many turns of Trick Room do I have left? 
Um, I'm just gonna try to hit the Eternatus, I think. And I almost want to Will O Wisp it, too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. I really need Marowak to be good here. Because this is a little rough. Getting the, um... Yeah, getting the life part off the field, though, is really good. Um... But it's a little tough to figure out where we go from here. Yeah, that does nothing. Wow. That's crazy. Maybe I have to taunt that one, too. Hmm. Interesting, interesting choices to make. Yeah, because now it's now those are gone. Um, I think I want to sucker punch the Eternatus here. Um, and then I think I also want to trick room. Yikes! This is my last turn trick room if I go for it here. I'm trying to think about how I win this game. It's gotta be dealing with the... Um... I'm glad I really got I brought Taunt now. Um... I mean, it's gotta be in Trick Room though, right? I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Trick Room here. Okay, how much damage do we do with this? Not, not much at all. Oh, that's crazy. Dang, this, this one is looking rough. Oh, that's totally fine. They can hit Vault all. That's totally okay. I don't think I die from this dark place, though. Yeah, if I flinch, that would be rough, but we get Trick Room set up. Um, but how do I break this uh, Eternatus? I'm, I'm gonna try taunting it right here. What moves have I seen from it? I'm trying to think. I've seen Protect, Dynamax Cannon. It's gotta have Sledge Bomb or Sledge Wave or something, right? So I'm gonna try taunting it here, and then I'm gonna Shadow Ball. Um, maybe I can split the difference. Maybe I just get some more chip on the Eternatus. I'm trying to decide which option I want to go for here. Um, if they Protect, that would stall out Trick Room turns. I think I just want to kind of get some damage on the Weezing, maybe, is the best option. Not really, though, right? The Weezing isn't really that scary to me. L let's hit the Eternatus. If they protect, like, this is not a good play if they protect. But I think... Ah, I don't know. They could honestly Cosmic Power again. This Pokemon's a problem. <laughs> this Pokemon is a problem. Uh, this is probably... Uh, what's his face? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lifeheart again? Lifeheart again, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I need something to deal with Lifeheart. Oh, that's really nice. This Actually, this bit after up really doesn't matter that much. Getting a taunt on this one is really good, though. Yeah, I nice hand again. What did they go for this time? Do we have to have again? Got to this time. Okay, I'm kind of okay with that. Because I wanted the free swap into Marowak. Kind of. So, we're in an interesting situation. I think I'm going to protect Marowak. I'm going to protect Marowak, and I'm going to taunt um, with... Uh, uh, Veltal, because I, I, this, like, the life part's a problem, so I need, I need to deal with it, and, um, I need to protect here, I think, because I don't want to get hit by a charm. That, like, that would be a problem. <laughs> that would be a mad problem. Uh, so, yeah, we can deal with that. But this lead that he brought, ooh, this lead was good. Like, good, like, I don't like it good, but it's good. The Encore reversing Trick Room immediately... Oh my god, that play was so sick. I did not know that it would make Jellicent go first to use it. Oh, mmm. 
damn. <laughs> that, that was that was a really good play, and I didn't like it. Um, oh, that's fine. Reggie Lucky? Okay, that's totally fine, too. Alright, now I know what his mods are. Alright, uh, there's no seeking here. Yeah, 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 we block that. We, mm -mm. we do not want that. Taunt that. All you got is foul play. We're looking to KO you. Like, I don't want to deal with it. Um, let's Sucker Punch be a Lucky this turn. And I'm gonna Bone Meringue. Uh, we need this Light Part to go. It needs to go. This, this Pokemon? Mm-mm. You gotta go. <laughs> it is a problem. Oh, please. Keep Light Part in. Dang it. Alright, what do you bring? You turn this? Alright, maybe I can get this KO. I feel like I could. I don't know, that Lon's super bulky though, so we'll see. Uh, I think he's gonna play around my Sucker Punches. Uh, which is a little rough, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can pick up this KO. That'd be really nice. Okay, perfect. Alright, perfect. Alright, we're, we're, we're moving somewhere. So we KO turns this. And then I think, um... I mean, they can bring Light Part again, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna Sucker Punch the Aleki still, and I'm gonna protect uh, the Marowak. Is this a winning play? I'm really not. Oh, wait, no, it's... Oh, this was a, this was a throw. This was a throw. I, w I made the wrong play. I should have uh, taunted the white part again. Because the Lucky, um, uh, I have Lightning Rod right now. The only way that it doesn't is if he switches in the Weezing, which I guess could be a play. Is that the play? I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure anymore. I'm actually not sure. What do they go for? They go fake out this time. Okay. But like, oh, they have ancient power. All right, that's cool. Oh, they have ancient power. You. All right. Um. I mean, I'm gonna sucker punch this Aleki again, and I really, really, really need this light part to go down. Otherwise, I'm gonna get hit by charm after charm. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Encore? Yeah, okay, so I get Encore into Protect. God, going for Protect really sucks, actually. <laughs> going for Encore really, really sucks. Alright, so we get that KO. Maybe Bellatol can, like, pull this back for us. Although, I don't know, what is the... I guess there's, there's not a whole lot of offensive pressure here, right? So... I don't know. I mean, I just don't hit you to one of these Pokemon very hard. But, like, the life part is the problem Pokemon, right? So I, I can only use Protect, right? Can I can I try to go for a Bone Ring? Nope, I can only use Protect. All right, well, I, I'm on Corded to Protect, so we're gonna use Protect. Um, because that's all we can do. They do a strange scheme though. I kind of feel like I'm about to get encored into death here though. Like, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Yeah. I mean, my attack set being lowered isn't going to matter for foul play, but, like, I don't know. Here, here we are, you know? Let's, uh, protect right here. And then, um,. Now I can only use Protect. Alright, well, let's, let's try Protect again, I guess. Yeah, actually, you know what the play would have been last turn? It would have been to go for Charm on my part. Um, yeah. So there's Strain Seam Dark Pulse. And they have Foul Play themselves, yeah. And I mean, I take it, which is good to know, but... Like, they should just be able to Foul Play me again. Or, not Foul Play me, they should be able to, uh, um, what can I call it? 
encore me again. I think that's not, I think they can do that at least. Oh, but they're just gonna attack. Yeah, that makes sense too. Okay, so Weezing's gonna pick up that KO. Okay, that that lead from them. Ooh, that's an annoying lead. I'll be really that was an annoying lead. <laughs> I need to deal with this life bar a lot sooner. Um, maybe having Comfy is a good idea then. Cause at least I can I can t attack it. Um, what would I bring instead though? Like all the mons I brought were really good. Do I bring in instead of Jellicent? That doesn't seem like a good play. Yeah, I think. Hmm. Actually, how good? Okay, so having Taunt was really good. So I think if I just played my Taunt turns a little bit differently, I was in a better spot. But Jellicent, aside from being able to live like hits pretty well, it isn't really doing a whole lot else for me. So I kind of do want to have Comfy. kind of like that play. What, what moves do I have on Comfy? I don't remember. Yeah, I have some pretty good moves too. Oh, I have Leech Seed too. That could kind of help against the um, Eternatus maybe. Yeah, so I think that's the switch I want to make. I don't think I'm going to bring... Um, I don't think I'm going to bring Jellicent this time. Bringing a water coverage move would have been really nice, though. Or an ice coverage move? Ice move even good? I don't know. All right, anyway. But the Shadow Ball has not been quite... No, it's not been very good. Having my own... Okay, is my own Intimidate any good? Not really, right? Like, is Brick Break a good move to have? No. No, not really against anything they brought. So, okay, so Hitmontop is still out. Is it Comfy then? Is Comfy the way to go? And then the other option is Veltal the way to go here too. Uh, I do think I want Nidoking. And I think I want Comfy as well. And then do I have Veltal and Marowak in the back? Or do I start with Veltal here? along with something. I like that it could taunt the life part immediately, but like how good is that really, you know? I need the offensive pressure against uh, Eternatus because I can't let it set up cosmic powers. Yeah, and like Jellicent doesn't provide that pressure, so I don't think that's the way to go. Dang, the HP stat on a turn, this is crazy. I just looked, it's 140. That's kind of nuts. But yeah, I think this is my best option. And we'll go from there. Oh, my cat's trying to jump up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, oh man, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Because the, yeah, that life heart lead is really good. How do I deal with it? Do I just attack it with Comfy? I mean, Comfy is my best option against it, but that lead is good against Comfy too. Seeking Tapu Coco. All right, all right, I see you over there. All right, that's kind of sick. Um, this feels like a discharge lead, um, and probably a water move coming out too. What is this? Electric Seed. Raises your defense. Okay. Um. All right, we're gonna Earth Power the Coco. And oh, I don't have Trick Room on this. Oh, whoops! I thought I had Trick Room on this. Oh, that's kind of a problem. I thought I had Trick Room. All right, well we don't have Trick Room this game. Whoops! Whoops! They usually bring Trick Room on Comfy, but I must have taken it off for Protect. Why did I bring Leech Seed? Oh, I was worried about Amanda Buzz. Leech Seed would be pretty good against, uh... <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Leech Seed will be pretty good against the Seeking, too. Or against the U-Turn, this, too. Alright, well... Here we go. This is what we got. Coco Protects. Dang. Okay, I'm about to get hit by a water move, and it's gonna suck. I should be able to take a hit, though. Like, I don't think this... I don't think this Oko's me. Um, because Seeking doesn't have a great attack stat. Soak. Oh. Okay, I no longer take this hit well. Yep, I no longer take this hit well. 
<laughs> um, let's draining kiss the um, seeking again. Let's just get some more chip damage on it. Could I protect you? Maybe that's an option too. <laughs> My cat's going crazy. Um, yeah, let's just get some more damage on stuff. Uh, the Seeking actually could be a problem. But I'm going to bring Marowak in this time, because I'm assuming Discharge comes out. Uh, I mean, bringing this into a water move would be really bad, but I don't think they do that. But they get a Lightning Rod boost, I get a Lightning Rod boost. Everybody gets a Lightning Rod boost, except for Comfy. Yeah, it is what it is. We take that out, okay. And they use Horn Drill. Okay, and Comfy avoids it. That's really nice. Um, I'm gonna Bone Meringue this Seeking, because I kind of feel like it's gonna be the one that attacks us. Uh, and I'm just gonna Draining Kiss. Again, we want health back. I don't think, I don't feel like Seeking's gonna be running Protect. Like, it's gonna have, like, Soak, Water Move, Horn Drill, plus one is kind of my thought process. So let's just get some damage off on it, and I uh, actually I need to KO it. Because the soak tech is really good, and I really don't need it. Like, it would be really super bad for me. But I also have... Okay, but I, I would have... Um... Hmm. This is an interesting spot to be in right now, actually. Coco protects. Yeah, that's okay. That's totally okay. Because I'm not going for that one that one this turn. Because I, I think, like, the Seeking tech right here, like, this is good. This is really good against what I have. And so it needs to go. Yeah, me being a water type isn't a big deal, because I still have Lightning Rod. Why do I deal no damage? I get a crit there, but I don't feel like I'm dealing any damage. I should have done a lot more. Do I bring, like, the wrong item or something? I should, like, double check that I have that, because I feel like that should have been, like, BAM and BAM, you know? But Marowak KOs, and then he turned this. Okay. Um... This is an interesting situation of DN. I kind of just want to protect both and just see what they do. I just want to get a sense for what, what are they going to go for. Like, do they have the poison move? I want to know that. And I still have Lightning Rod, so... I'm feeling okay about that. Yeah. Yeah, I really just want to know, what are they going to do here? This feels like a discharge turn right here. But I just want to scout. What are, what are they going for? Oh, I need to take Seeking off layout. Well, let's see what they got. Yeah, they do go for a discharge attack. Okay. So... I don't... They, they don't Dynamax Cannon Comfy, you know what I mean? So, like... I'm feeling okay. I kind of want to hit this Eternal this, but I also kind of want to hit the Coco. And then, um, let me figure out where to go from there. Um, if I can pick up another KO, then I'm looking very good to win this game, because I'll just win it with Marowak. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's hit that, and then let's switch Comfy out. Let's go into Nidoking, because I feel like a Sludge Wave, um, or like, not a Sludge Wave, but a, um, Sludge Bomb is going to come into that slot. And actually, I'm really bulky on Nidoking. I forgot how bulky I was. Because his, um, oh, he's going to hit his own mon. Actually, yeah, he's going to hit his own mon, and I'm not going to be worried about this at all. Yeah. So hopefully he gets the para. Fingers crossed. That'd be kind of nice. Oh my god. Sometimes you ask and you will receive, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I mean, that's that's the downside of use. Okay, see, that's, now, I, now it looks like I have attack. You know what I mean? That hits. That, that crunches. Okay, I'm in a heck of a good spot right now. 
Um, we're gonna split the difference. We're gonna attack one and attack the other. Uh, yeah, because nothing wants to take ground attacks. Nothing wants to take ground attacks. So, um, one at Eternatus and one at uh, Coco. Uh, and if we can pick up one more KO, then um, we win the game with Parish Song. Yeah. I mean, that is the that is the downside of using Discharge. You know what I mean? Like, that is the downside. Oh, I did not think I was going to be faster than I turned this. But yeah, that, that, turn, that turn was so bad for him. Please tell me you leave this hit. Okay, that's so good. And he missed. That's rough. Okay, but that's okay. Because um, I have enough pressure that I can hit the... Um, What's our last mod? Is it a lucky? No, it's a light part. Um, okay. So this is a little tricky. I'm going to. Because I die to a foul play. And then I need to win this legit. <laughs> if I do, if that happens. Um, I think I'm gonna protect both turns, or uh, both months. I don't I don't think I lose anything for that, and I don't get hit by fake out. Um, so let's let's just do that. Uh, because the Eternatus is faster than Marowak, and I just don't want that to go down. Um, I think what I'm looking for here is an opportunity to get... Yeah, I'm just protecting. Yeah, you go for a thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep, and then I'm not going Yep, yep. Um, okay, so I'm going to try... I'm going to try to Perish on. And then I know I am faster than Eternatus. Uh, because they, because he paired himself, uh, so I'm looking pretty good there. No! Oh my god, the Encore! Alright, well that monster have to get switched out. At least I got the double, I guess. I don't know. That's something. Please tell me you Dynamax that spot. You did not. You hit the freaking Marowak. Oh, that's so rough. Alright, no Parish Slung win. That's alright, that's alright. So you turn this KO's. Um... All right, well let's go into Veltal because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna. I think I have to swap the Nido King. I completely forgot about the Encore tech. That's. Uh... <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta update things. Let's see. No Lucky, no Coco, no Weezing, and no Marowak. Uh, let's, um, let's taunt the Lipard, and then let's switch out into Comfy. If they, uh, poison move here, like, well played, you know? Like, what are you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> like, it's, it's just a good play if, you, if they do that. Yep, pop play. That's alright. I don't, I don't take very much damage from it. Uh, we get the taunt off, which is super good. And we also now know that we're faster than he turned this, which is also good information. Cosm power? Okay, I'm gonna taunt you too. Y you need to stop also. Yeah. <laughs> you need to stop also. So let's taunt you too. Uh, and this also just means that I don't need to worry about um, any. Uh... What am I thinking of? Um, oh, that's damage. That's why we brought Comfy right there. Oh, man. And actually, it puts me back up to Sash, too. That's so good. Well, okay, now I'm just kidding. I'm not a Sash anymore. Uh, so we don't have to worry about Cosmic Power, and we don't need to worry about Protect, either. So it's always going to go for it. Oh. Okay, that's kind of sick, actually. I just realized you can taunt and then Sucker Punch. He has to attack me, so I Sucker Punch him. That? Okay, that's kind of sick. I never put those two together. But, like, if you taunt someone, and then you can always sucker punch them. I feel like I just learned something about Pokemon today. I hope you did, too. Because that's some cool tech right there. Because I know he has to attack, right? I know he has to attack. Oh, we get the parry, too. That's rough, you know? That, that part's rough. 
A man, man parent is on Pokemon. Like, that's, that's some unfortunate stuff right there. Uh, Draining Kiss, uh, we probably won't deal very much damage to this. This one is super bulky. Oh, uh, he has to attack. He has to attack. So, second one to mix it up. All right. All right. That's good. All right. I'm so excited about that. I'm going to use that some more. Uh, but good game over to Illusion. Um, that was that game too. That life part had me worried. Like, I did not know how I was going to beat that thing. And you saw game two. We did not. Um, but game three looked a lot better. Um, we figured out some ways to deal with it. Uh, obviously, Draining Kiss on Comfy was a big, big option against it. I kind of wonder if the uh, Eternatus even had an attacking move besides Dynamax Cannon. And, and it could have gone for him on the turns when it got parried, you know? But even the turn... Um, yeah, you know, it might have gone for it on the turns that it, got, it got, didn't get parried. Or when it got parried. Um, because... Those were turns in which Comfy was on the field, and it would have been an opportunity for them to go for that attack. Um... But anyway, good game over to him. Uh, I had to work hard during that that, that uh, second and third game. Uh, the first one felt like it was it went pretty well, but the second game was he played that so well. That life hard was such a problem, and I could not figure out how to deal with it. So good game over to him. Uh, and uh, this is the last game of the regular season. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in the video, but this is the last game of the regular season, um, and we're locked for playoffs now. Uh, so we're for sure in. Um, and uh, looking forward to playing some playoff matches. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, maybe we'll have some rematches. Maybe we'll play against some new opponents. Uh, just all luck of the draw, you know? So anyway, thanks for sticking around and, uh, and watching some games with me. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.